Hi everyone. Let's pull some prompt cards for our Mixed Media Morsels Altered Card Play Challenge. I uh, can't wait to see what we get this time. <laughs> I'm always so excited right now. <laughs> okay. Our theme is going to be fall or autumn. I know, kind of odd for this time of year. Although, on the other side of the world from where I am, it's probably that time of year. So, let's see. The technique, one of the techniques we'll use is markers. Use markers. All right. Let's get our add-ons. First one is add a tab. Okay, next one is add texture. Oh, that'll be fun. Okay. And then our little extra credit, which is just a little bonus item, is add a seashell. Hmm. All right, that'll, that'll be fun. I can't wait to see how you guys interpret these. And um, I can't wait to see how I'm going <laughs> to interpret these. So off I go to gather up some things and see what I can come up with. Okay, so I have a few things together now, and I think I know what I want to do. So I'm going to move this up out of the way a little bit. And the first thing I'm going to do, well, first let me sh uh, show you that I did um, gesso my card with white gesso because I'm going to put a napkin down. So I wanted to be able to put that down without a lot of red diamond showing through <laughs> the background. So... I'm gonna do that now. And um, this is the napkin piece that I had picked out. It's got some fall leaves and that's the napkin that I'm gonna use. So it's just gonna go on here like so. So I'm gonna use a glue stick. And stick it down. That's a pretty little fall background. And just trim off the excess. so dark that those diamonds may not have shown through, but I didn't want to take the chance, so I decided to just go ahead and put the white gesso on. And then I waited, of course, for it to dry before I glued my napkin down. And I am going to put a little bit of a glue and water mixture over the top to make sure that's sealed down. You can use Mod Podge or Matte Medium, whatever you have handy if you're doing this uh, napkin technique. I'm just using the glue and water because it's right here and it works. And so that works for me. Oh, you know what I forgot to do though? Put that napkin right over my number six. I could just see it just now peeking through there. <laughs> so let me see if I can Scrape that back before it gets too dried. There we go. I didn't put any glue stick there. And then I forgot to, uh, <laughs> I'm so bad about forgetting that number. Good. All right, now I've missed an uh, area down here, I think. Oops. All right. So 
Now I'm going to dry that again and I'll be right back. Okay, my napkin's all dry. So I've got the fall and autumn theme started here. And the next thing I'm going to add is using marker. I'm going to just use a marker to go around the outside of my um, card just to kind of frame it. So I'm going to do that here. Before I add anything else to the top. So some of you guys might remember, um, if especially if you bought my garden themed um, printable from Etsy, I have my little snail in that um, set and I just love him so much and I knew that we needed to add a seashell so what I did was I cut the snail out of the, sh the shell that I had drawn and I found an image of um, a seashell, and so I'm gonna give this little snail a new shell. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put him here like this and kind of glue him, glue it in place, and then I'll glue him down onto my card. <laughs> he's so cute and smiley. I just think he's so sweet. We have our little snail and he has a new shell. It's just like moving into a new house. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put him here. And um, I have a little leafy branch that I cut off of, I think it was on an envelope. And it was so pretty with the little fall leaves and I think I'm gonna have that kind of off the side like it's a shrub you know kind of coming into the shot there i think that'll be sweet all right so let's glue down the snail first done this one, this one, and this one. So I'm going to add some texture. I've um, got a piece of my drywall tape that I painted or, or colored over with a Posca pen. And I think I'm going to cut a couple of little pieces down to put in the background and I'm going to put my words on top. words. I think I'll just be happy today. <laughs> I mean, look at that face. <laughs> okay. This little card came together very quickly. I'm glad of that. I love it when things flow well. Of course, it's fun too when you have to figure it all out, but I did do some figuring out ahead of time, so I guess that I guess that helps.
There we go. So the only thing that's left is the tab. And what I thought I would do is put the tab on my prompt card. And I'm going to have it come down from the top this time. So I've got a couple of different scraps here. Either one would work just fine. But I think I kind of like the orange one. So what I'm going to do is just punch... <clears throat> punch out a square and then fold it over. To make the tab. I'm gonna put that here. Like so. I think I'm going to cut it down just a little bit, though. It would help if I could cut straight, but we all know that's not going to happen anytime soon. <laughs> I want to round the top corners. And it looks a little bit more like a little tab. Whoops, wrong one. <laughs> Getting carried right here. Yeah, I think that'll be very cute. Now I need to put uh, something on my page so we can get our page ready. I've already taken it out of my book so that I can work on it here just got a scrap of scrapbook paper and I'm going to attach it to the background like this. Okay. Perfect for fall. And for those of you who actually are in fall right now, yay! <laughs> you get to make a fall card and a fall page while you're in the fall season. It's awesome. Okay. So now we will attach our card. Oh, look how sweet. I love the bright. I love the bright background there with the um, darker card. That's so cute. Love it. Okay, so our prompt card is going to come in from the top, like this. Yes, very cute. Okay, so for this I usually use the Fabri-Tac because it holds well and dries quickly. I just like using this stuff. I don't like the smell of it, but I like using it. Okay. I'm okay with it as long as I don't use it for very long at a time, but it can give me a headache if I have it out for too long. So, let me just make quick work of this. Fun little texture on there, I love it. Okay, now I can put in my June prompts. And 
and there we go. How fun. All right, guys, I'm looking forward to seeing yours. I hope you have a wonderful time creating your card. And uh, I will look forward to seeing those in the Mixed Media Morsels Facebook group. The community that we have is so much fun being able to um, inspire one another. All right, guys, have fun, happy, joyful creating, and we will see you very soon in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.